morning. It's an early one today. First time this year, I think. But I've got up early doors to come and see what the gods of fungus have delivered for us. And so far, nothing. But I didn't really know what to expect, really, because it's still pretty early in the season. It's literally just started, really. It's sort of early September, so I'm not expecting a great deal, but that's not what it's all about. Well, it is what it's all about, but that's not just what it's all about. Because just being out here, it's fucking silence. All you can hear is, well, it's not even raining, but you can hear the drops of uh, water in the mist dropping down in the woods behind me. Still misty up over there. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> so, one of the reasons why we do it, not just because we're greedy bastards and we want to find some mushrooms to eat, but it's just so good for you. Just getting out in the, just getting outside in the wild, so to speak. I don't Beef steak fungus. Obviously, come off here, look. But um, yeah, you can eat this one, and um, when you cut it, it. Um, well, you can see the, like the the look of it. It looks like a piece of uh, of steak or beef, and it actually bleeds as well. But it's like a sort of this uh, red, sort of juicy stuff. But I'm not going to pick that today because I'm not a huge fan of it, and it's not what I'm out here for. Um, but yeah, happy days. Love this season. It's worth the early mornings and the bag under my eyes, to be honest. But yeah, there we go. If uh, I find anything, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. I suppose the only uh, I'll say it's a downside. It's not really a downside because it's really pretty and everything. And um, I do really like spiders as well. Quite, quite a fan, but if you don't like spiders, this time of year in the woods, it's a fucker. <laughs> because there's webs everywhere, and as you can see, this like tree here is just covered. And then, I don't know if you can see, but right here as well is like another, sort of, just about making out this big old web here, but they. They stretch them across in between nearly every fucking tree. And uh yeah, I've had quite a few spiders crawling in my in my hood and things. <laughs> so yeah, constantly ducking and because I don't like to damage the webs either. Oh, fuck. Look at this bad boy. Hang on a minute. Don't move, don't move, don't move. There she is, right in the middle there. Can't really focus on it, but that big old web. I don't really want to go face first for it, if I can help it. Anyway, onwards. Still very peaceful, lovely. Um, yeah, so I've just found another beefsteak mushroom. But look at this one, just absolutely fucking Fistulina hepatica is its proper name, and you can see those drips of kind of liquid, and that's called guttation. Basically, when the plants do it as well, and when they <coughs> when they're full up with water, they'll just start to um, expel whatever they don't need. Um, but this one, um, yeah, like I say, this one is edible, but it doesn't taste like beef. It's so annoying. 
And you really want it to just taste like a fucking sirloin steak, and then you can like you know go vegetarian quite happily. But um, <laughs> unfortunately, it's got like a sort of citric, sort of citrusy sort of flavour. It's um, yeah. Yeah, you can slice it thin and have it like a carpaccio with your salad or something, but I don't know. It's, I've tried it, it's not really for me. But yeah, that is a textbook. Also called um, ox tongue fungus, I think that's what they call it in French. Lang de boeuf. Um, but there we go. Right, I'm nearly done in this particular area, I think. See, the trouble is, I see, I'm just about to leave, and then I see like that. And I'm like, what is over there? So now I've got to fucking go over there. It's the only trouble we have, you know, I need to try and uh, limit my time so I can spread it between different places. Because uh, I've got a couple of other good places I really need to go this morning, so. Um, but yeah, that's the trouble. You see these like misty, oh, green woodpecker. My favorite British bird, apart from a tawny owl, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look over here because it's fucking well mysterious, isn't it? Look, Christ Almighty, look at this. Stunning. Of course, you could smell the area as well. This is so. Oh, mate. It's all about. Oh, there's some more flipping spider webs. There's a big one hanging in there. Look at that. Try and get close in on that because they look like little jewels, don't they? Look at that. Mate, spiders. Wish people didn't give them such a hard time because they're fucking ace. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and jump into this misty fucking nonsense wilderness and uh, if I don't die. Or get eaten by something. Um, <laughs> I'll see you later. This will make you laugh. Since I've been here and parked in the last 45 minutes, oh. fucking spider's made his own on me wing mirror. That's how many there are right here. <laughs> right, I've come to another area which I like to come to every now and again because sometimes it's a little bit more fruitful than uh, some of the other places, and uh, on this occasion. Uh, I've been here about 10 minutes and so far I've got myself some seps, a little bit slug bitten but nothing uh, nothing too major uh, and some of the edible russula species which is a, is a good method uh, but it only applies to russulas and um, you can nibble a bit it's called this, the taste and spit test. So you just nibble a bit of it, and if it's really hot and spicy, then probably not one you want to eat. If it's really mild and there's no like heat, then it's edible. But that and that's pretty much a given. But that only works for the rustlers, and that's these like I don't know if you can see. There's like that red one there, and there's a yellow one there. I think that's probably an ochre, brittle gill. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, so far so good. I'm going to keep wandering around, see if I can get anything else, or din dins. Uh, this one here is, I believe, Amanita rubescens, also known as the blusher. And um, it's absolutely delicious, but um, the trouble with Amanitas is, is that that family also includes the most uh, deadly mushrooms in the entire world. Um, so you do have to know what you're doing if you're wanting to um, pick these. So I'm just going to remove some of this stuff from around it. Let's see what we've got here. That is a beauty. A nice little spider on there as well. 
hopefully getting rid of anything that wants to eat it. Hey, go on, bugger off. I don't want to eat you as well, Mush. So, you can see on the stem there, where it's been damaged, it goes pink. And that is a big giveaway as to what this particular mushroom is. And I'm going to just take this up. Now that is an absolute beauty. It does seem to have a little hanger on there, but I'll get rid of him. But this is still very young. You can't even actually see the gills yet. The veil is still up. So probably a bit actually early to pick, but the trouble is in this woods, everything is eaten by the bugs so quick that, you know, you've almost got to just grab a couple of things when you can. Um, but yeah, this one is Amanita rubescens, or the blusher. Um, but yeah, not one for novice mushroom hunters because, yeah, like I say, it does bear some resemblances to some other ones that will make you either pretty poorly or fucking dead. So, um, yeah, there we go. So by this point, I've been out for a couple of hours and uh, not too bad so far, to be fair. I've only been to two spots, uh, this one and obviously the one before where I've got absolutely nothing. Uh, but this one's been all right, so um, oh, I can't turn my camera around. But anyway, that's, um, that's like the bag of goodies so far. And um, I mentioned the Amanita rubescence, the blusher earlier, I picked that one showed you that one and I found a couple more so you can see what they look like once they've opened up and, they've, and the veil has dropped so here's one so you can see you know it's pretty obviously stained with some sort of pink and red colouring which is a huge giveaway for this species and is um, yeah it's a, it's a very good clue uh, so you don't you know bugger it all up. Um, that's what it looks like underneath the gills. I'm trying to get a good view of it because it's I'm just about to see. And the veil drops down and becomes this little skirt that you can see here. And um, that skirt has to have what's called striations on it. So little grooves, little lines, like a pleated skirt. Because um, there is another species that is can, it's quite similar to this in some ways, um, called the panther cat, Amanita pantherina, and um, that has a smooth skirt, so that's the instant difference between the two. So, yeah, so that's a good shout. Um, if you uh, do decide to go looking to eat one of these bad boys, there is a saying never eat an Amanita, <laughs> but you know, but as long as you know what you're doing and you follow a few simple rules and you know what you're looking for. Um, then you'll be okay, just double, triple, quadruple check everything and never be less than 100% certain about what it is that you're going to stick in your gob. Because don't want to die, um, no one wants that. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Have a Also forgot to say that uh, <laughs> at this point I'm absolutely covered in spiders. I've probably got them in every pocket in my hair. Probably laying eggs in my ears, <laughs> but I wouldn't swap this for anything. And of course, it's not just about the edibles either. So as, as much as that's the that is the reason I'm out here, because I'm always hungry and um, I like free food. You also come across some quite spectacular little sights if you stumble upon the right thing like this. Uh, this little dingly dell that I've just found myself in now. There's just thousands and thousands of these little guys. Everywhere. Not sure what they are, but they're, they're absolutely everywhere. So, yeah, it's good for admiring a bit of beauty as well, isn't it, eh? Ah, lovely old job. Forgive me for being a little bit uh, overexcited. Hang on a second. Oh, wait, 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 there's another little one here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. 
this little guy here. Look at that. But that's not what's got my attention. That is in the middle there. I don't know quite if it is, but I'm going to go and have a look. Scramble through the undergrowth. All right. Uh, okay, stingers. Oh, fuck it. It's done. It's fine. Jesus Christ. What is that? It is massive. Hang on, I need to get stung to bugger here. Oh, it's a big one. Well, that's my hand next to it. So you can see how big it is. Try to see what's underneath there. I think there's a bee. Alright, let's pick it. Oh no, what a shame. It's already gone, started to go mouldy there. But yeah, it looks like it might be a looks like a baby elite to me, but I could be wrong. Is it bruised blue? Yes, it does. So when you scrape it, it bruises blue, which bays do. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna bag that anyway because it might be that might be good to dry out. Um, but that's a fucking whopper. <laughs> Fuck it, hell, man. All done in that wood now. So that's two woods down. Uh, first one was a lovely walk, but. Uh, didn't find anything worth eating. There were some beef steaks that I, that I showed you, um, but I'm not that keen on them. Um, I know what I like. Seps, uh, any of the other sort of edible bolites are always fantastic. And um, rustlers are good, I've got some of those. Um, I think I might have found some um, bronze bolites, and that is quite exciting for me personally. It's not probably not to you, uh, but to me, that's pretty exciting because um, they are as good, if not better, than um, the seps, which is what I'm pretty much always looking for this time of year, because they are like the king of mushrooms, really. They're the, they're the top boy, um, apart from truffles, but no one's finding truffles. Um, but yeah, bronze bolites. I've got a couple. I think I think that's what I've got, and um, if so, I'm pretty excited about that. So that's good. So I did well from this little woods today, um, and now I'm just going to sit here for uh, five minutes, have my cup of tea. I've been waiting to drink for the last three hours, and um, yeah, I've got one more spot to check and um, then I'll be heading off home. So uh, thanks for watching these videos if you've actually bothered to. Because <laughs> fucking hell, they must be so flipping dull <laughs> to a lot of people. But, you know, if you're looking, if, you, if you'd want to find out a little bit about, you know, mushroom foraging and stuff like that, then um, give us a shout. If you, can, if you can get hold of me, just give me a shout and I'll, I'll, I'll answer any questions I can. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, all, I'm, I'm happy to, to have hangers on as well. So if you ever want to come out for a little jaunt, uh, give us a shout. So um, yeah, cheers and um, see you next time.